at Fast Boats. They're in place working to assist the recovery team member. It's incredible. I just love these, these views. We really see them even better in daytime. Number 28th. Uh, so yeah, a little bit about the Dragon Freedom capsule. Dragon Freedom. Uh, to the far left there is NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore. And as you can see, the crew is suited up in their space indeed daytime. And you're beginning to see that plasma trail as uh, Dragon re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. All of that is expected. We Coming from the WB-57 plane, that heat shield we can see doing magnificent work as it continues to make its way back to planet Earth. The mains are quite a bit larger. You'll be able to notice the difference on your screen once they deploy, and they continue to... the water and onto the recovery vessel. Wow, we got a cute little pod of dolphins. It wasn't just one or two. The Dragon spacecraft. Now here on your screen, we can see uh, dolphins actually, <laughs> who want to come and play with, uh, with Dragon. Now one of the fast boats there in place working to assist the recovery team member. It's incredible. I just love these, these views. We really see them even better in daytime, but just seeing the recovery team work in tandem to uh, step through each step, uh, or excuse me, to step through each operation. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, obviously they're they're getting quick assists from the honorary part of the recovery team, those dolphins uh, in the water there. Now, the, the recovery crew mem team member that is crawling around the Dragon spacecraft, uh, earlier we saw a view where it was like a spider monkey pose. Um, we can see that individual now standing in the bucket where the main parachutes were stored while Dragon was on orbit. Obviously, those main parachutes were utilized for splashdown today. Uh, they were deployed and cut from the Dragon capsule, uh, and one of the fast boats, in the, uh, one of the other fast boats of the recovery team, working to the capsule here shortly. Once they get hoisted onto the recovery vessel, Megan, we can see that recovery vessel slowly but surely closing the distance there between. Oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> Uh, we can we can see uh, that the Dragon capsule and the recovery vessel, that distance is closing. Again, this is just one more step as we continue to that articulate backwards. And um, that's a good sign that we're, we're getting even closer to pulling the capsule out of the water. It will then uh, move forward and 